Today we'll visit the New Boston Cemetery on Cemetery Road. This is the oldest and largest cemetery in town. If you enter the cemetery through the main gates, the old yard on your left is where you'll find the most interesting gravestones. The old yard is above the town tomb. Let's look at three of the oldest gravestones. New Boston's town clerk, Alexander McCollum, was the first person to be buried in this cemetery 250 years ago. The artwork on his stone is barely visible, so we'll move on to the stone of Joseph Wall, whose stone is decorated with this delightful image, an image unlike any other in the cemetery. Here is Nathaniel Aiken's stone from two years later. The upside-down heart represents death, as does the coffin. Note that the stone is delaminating. Its layers are separating, and that's a problem with many old sandstone and slate gravestones. The New Boston Cemetery has many gravestones made from a high-quality slate, like the blue slate quarried in Harvard, Massachusetts, 40 miles to the south. It's amazing to see a gravestone from the late 1700s where every detail is as crisp as when it left the stone carver's workshop. This artwork is all hand carved with a sharp chisel and a mallet. A number of stones are carved with a soul effigy, which represents the flight of a soul from earth to heaven. Marble is a softer stone than slate, which enables the stone carver to create art in three dimensions. It's sad to see so many gleaming white marble gravestones blackened by centuries of air pollution and their sculptures blurred by acid rain. The marble stones in the New Boston Cemetery provide a good representation of the dozens of gravestone symbols which were popular in the Victorian era. For example, a rose appears on the gravestone of someone who died young. A rosebud, a partial bloom, or a full bloom depending on on how old they were. A sheaf of wheat meant that someone was harvested at a ripe old age. A finger pointing upward represents hope of heaven. Look for these symbols whenever you visit a cemetery, then read about their meaning in books or on the internet. The newer gravestones you'll see in the New Boston Cemetery, especially in the sections uphill from the old yard, are typically made from granite. New Hampshire is the granite state, but many of the beautiful granite stones you'll see came from far away, often from India or China. The image on this gravestone was probably etched by hand with a diamond tip engraving tool. You may also see photographs burned into polished granite by computer-guided lasers. That brings us to the end of our brief tour of gravestone art. Thank you for watching.